the moon is actually slowly getting further away from us. Huh? Um, the tides on the Earth are dissipating the energy of the, the gravitational forces um, that keep the moon in orbit. So it's uh -huh. actually kind of slowly moving away from us. Will that affect the tides and everything else? Because that stabilizes our orbit too, doesn't it? Or our, our shift on the axis, or spinning on the axis, right? Yep. Yeah, great point. Yeah, because it's almost in the perfect spot for us to have a total solar eclipse. All right, so here we have our Giovanni Open Deck Observatory. Before we go inside here, we will have to put masks on. Oh, okay. Because we are going inside the building. Okay. Um, Can do. <laughs> thank you so much, folks. Yep, I get mine out. Watch your head on this guy, but. Um, so again, this was put here just in 2019. So these telescopes are only two years old. Uh, very modern and uh, pretty paint. Um, most of them are controlled with iPads or computers. That makes my job very easy. I can just kind of tell where to go. I can actually kind of show you how we do that using uh, this telescope here. Can you actually operate it? Yeah, so I've got my iPad here and then Let's see, what, what should we look at? So, Oh, uh, let's look at Cassiopeia or M31. Can you find M31? Uh, M31 might be below the horizon right at now. At this but, point? Uh, Cassiopeia should be. Or uh, Ursa Major or Minor, either one. Because everybody knows the Big Dipper, right? Yes. That's, that's small. Yeah, let's, you know what, let's go for I remember uh, seeing that when I was a teenager and I had to identify it. For... Let's go for the Big Dipper. Oh, cool. Yep, so, you know, we can't actually look yeah. because it's cloudy right now and, you know, it's probably going to sprinkle a little uh -huh. bit, um, so we want to keep the telescope safe, but, um, so that's, that's how it moves though, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so you can just tell it where to go. Also, oh. um, yep, so throughout the night, it'll stay right where it needs to be. It will, so it'll move as the earth moves to keep the whatever in sight, right? Yep. In, yep. in the in the viewfinder. And this this whole thing is automated oh. to do that, which oh. is super, super nice. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, makes my job very it easy. It is. <laughs> and is that the image projected? Do you have to look at it with the, uh, with the eye or is it onto a computer or can you do both? So this one would have an eyepiece in it. Okay. Um, so the eyepiece would be here, and that's where you'd look. Uh, mm -hmm. These four um, that aren't aren't really tall. So there's two on kind of the tall stand there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what you described. So right. Those, okay. Those take pictures and would project them onto the TVs back here. Um, but all these other ones, they they're optical telescopes. So optical. And this one, this one's really great because. Um, huh? Sorry. Name. Oh, so we call this the Tech. tech. Um, yeah, so it's a, you can see here, a Tech 140 FL. Uh, it's got fluoride grown lenses. Um, so they're really, really uh, mm -hmm. pristine lenses. So mm -hmm. when you look through this, it would give you a very clear image. But also something that I really like about this one is it's got a wide field of view. Because mm -hmm. it's kind of a shorter telescope, right? Yeah. It's not as big as like that long one there. Right. Um, and that actually allows you to see more stuff in your eyepiece. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that right. wide field of view. Right. And so, you know, if you were to look at, say, the moon or something with, like, one of these guys, mm -hmm. you, you might just see a chunk. Mm -hmm. Whereas but, this one, you could fit the whole moon. Wow. That'd be really nice. But also you can see sometimes multiple galaxies just in one eyepiece here. Oh, yeah. Do you oh. mind just lifting your mask oh, up? Sorry, sorry, Thank you so sorry. much. Yeah, no, it's fine. No problem. Um, yeah, so... This one's kind of the fan favorite up here. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very reliable and uh, not too complicated. 